Hi guys and welcome. So I'm finally back from vacation. I recently went on a cruise with my family and now I have returned. And so today I'm going to share with you some swaps that I got in the mail. I do have some more swaps that came in and I believe they are at, well, I know they are, <laughs> they should be at my post office and I will pick those up tomorrow. Um, I had a good time on my vacation, but I must say that first night was a little rough. Well, well, I shouldn't say the first night, the second day, that Monday, the seas were rough. Um, there was a tropical storm slash hurricane was one of those. And, um, we wasn't necessarily in it, but the waves from it impacted us and my mom and I got really sick and there was a lot of people sick. There was even a little girl who fell and bumped her head um, that day too and stuff. But being on a cruise, it allows, it allowed me some time to relax, get my thoughts together, together, think about my Stampin' Up! business. Because um, one of the things that I've been struggling with lately is trying to figure out what exactly do I want to do. Um, a lot of people in my life, they are more into buying handmade cards than learning how to make it themselves and buy the product and make it themselves and stuff. So I've been trying to figure out what exactly it is that I want to do. And then my digital side of things, that has kind of picked up some because I do, um, like party bags and stuff like that on the side also. So I've just been trying to figure out what exactly do I want to do. So going on a cruise allowed me to to really just stop and think about that. Um, I'm not leaving Stampin' Up! So this is not like, a, oh, I'm about to leave Stampin' Up! video. No, I'm not. I am just um, going to focus a little bit more in creating my cards to sell. Um, if that makes sense, because then that frees me to use anything that I have in my craft room. So, you know, I can blend my Stampin' Up! products with with other product lines and stuff. It, it just gives me a little bit more freedom. But I'm still going to be creating for this channel. I'm still going to be creating for my blog. It's just more so in the sense of creating to sell my cards even though I know that's going to be a big full paw because when you're a demonstrator you're in it for business you're in it to sell product but I have to do what works best for me and that's kind of like what's working best for me right now so because I have a lot of people asking me about my cards and stuff and I don't have cards available because I've been creating more so to showcase on my blog for um for people to purchase product then versus building up my stash to sell to the public so i'm just going to be focusing on that a little bit more so i'm creating my schedule my schedule of releases and how i'm going to do things so that's what i've been working on on the cruise but let's look at the swaps that have come in and you're going to get a closer look at these swaps um via my blog throughout the weeks um and, and things like that so so this is not your only opportunity to see them um on this video you they will go up on my blog eventually so this one this one doesn't have a name it may be on the inside but i haven't opened it so i don't I can't give credit to who made this, but this one is using the Share What You Love Suite. I absolutely just think this is a gorgeous suite. I love the colors in it. It quickly became one of my favorite suites. So this one here was created by Lisa Schultz. I don't know which stamp set this is. And she didn't place a thing. Because I know I don't have it that much. I do know. And my catalog is still in my suitcase. Because I did take my catalog with me on the cruise. But this is another. I love that polka dot ribbon. Okay, this one is another no name one. And when these go up on my blog, if they did leave something, which it looks like she may have left something on the inside so let's see 
Okay, so this is by Sandy Haynes. But she didn't leave. I don't know which stamp set this is. But I know this uses the playful, um, playful textures. I have this stamp set right here. I do know that much. This was she left information. So this is Stanley's. So oh okay, Lori Skinner. And the stamp set is Gallery Grunge and Kindness and Compassion. I like that. Is this washi tape or is this paper? Let's see. What is this? Pick a pattern washi tape. Actually, I think that one is retired for some reason. I don't, maybe it's not. Okay, so this one was made by Margaret Van Vallet. This uses the sequence, the sequence, um, in um, embossing folder along with the varied vases stamp set and this is the celebrate die that you was able to get for free in celebration if you didn't get it for free you're not have to pay for it um i'm not sure if this sentiment is from varied vases or not actually it looks written i don't think it is but it looks it but it's beautiful uh if it is and then the paper is from the share what you love my favorite favorite bundle which is the sitting pretty bundle something got hooked in there okay this is so cute and this is by Connie Thuring okay this one is by Becky O'Donnell, and this uses gorgeous gray, but it doesn't tell you the name of the stamp set. And I know it's a typewriter one. I just because I, I don't have it, but I'm pulling this out because I don't want to lose that. you can pull this out you're the best there's some fun interaction there that's the one thing I love about swaps because as a demonstrator it allows us to get our hands on cards or projects that utilize the stamp sets that you may not have and it may make you think twice if you don't have it. Oh, I know this one is the, um, hold on, I got it right here. The Broadway, Broadway bound bundle, um, sweet. Or the Broadway birthday sweet. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gold, black, and white. I mean, just perfect colors. And here goes another one using the same Broadway birthday suite. And this person, they used a lot of rhinestones around there. I don't know if I could have done that for 15 cards. Because that means she had to buy a lot of packages. And this is by um, Tina uh, Monk Monksky. I think I know who she is. Yeah, I think I do. And this one is Cindy Castleman. I want to make sure I gave credit to that. Okay, so this one is by Sherry Pum um, Pumperton. Not sure which one is that. Okay, so this one is featuring the abstract impressions that didn't leave. 
the name on that one. This one is super, super adorably cute. And this one is by Jan Rowan. Drain? Drain? And this is the Animal Outing. And this one is another fun fold. And this one. Me and these nails are going to fight. Okay. You open it up. There you go. Okay. This is using the little bunny one. I don't know the name of the set. This is by Kathy um, Crother. Crother. And I know I'm butchering some of your last names. I'm so sorry about that. But this is so cute. I didn't. I actually like this bundle. I didn't get it because I just felt like it was more Eastery, and it's just I'm not ready for it. So this one is by Debbie. Um, Parente? Parente? This is another cute one. And then this is the last card. And I think this is must be the punch bundle one. And this is Susan Carson. And I love the layout of this. And actually, I think I'm going to give this one a try. I don't know why I get scared when I see when I see sketches that, that look like this. And it's just like, oh, that's doing too much. But looking at this card, it's simple and it's beautiful. And I can do it. I just got to do it. So, those are my swaps that I've gotten. I do have more that's coming. And I'm going to do a video for those also. So, I'm going to be working on a few things. So, if you don't hear too, too much of me in July, that's why. Because I'm gearing up for August. Um... The uh, the holiday catalog is getting ready to be released to demonstrators in August. So I'm trying to figure out what I want, what I want to do um, with with that catalog. So I can't wait to see because I am on limited funds. So I have to really strategically plan out what I want to do. So that's what I'm working on right now. So alrighty, see you later guys. Bye bye.